I feel like Ash is low key one of the best champions, and today I'm setting out to prove it. Let's rock. What is up, everyone? It's Crabcore, and we're back to rock Legends of Runeterra with our very first deck tech. So I am really freaking stoked about this. Uh, I think that Ash is awesome. I love the whole frostbite mechanic, and uh, the way that we're building this deck, it's kind of like a build your own elusive. Like she shuts down your whole opponent's board once she gets to uh, her level up and making everything with zero power not block. So the whole point is to get as much frostbite triggers as possible and to use those to control the game. So the only issue is Ash can be very, very fragile because she is a 5-3 stats. So lots of things can kill her. The uh, Grasp of the Undying, uh, whatever that other one is, that whenever their creature dies, it deals 3 to yours. Like there's a lot of 3 damage things in this set, even in Piltover and Zahn as well. So we have the rekindler that's just going to bring her back and we have a couple entreat just to redraw her out of our deck lots of really uh sweet ways to bring her back and even get multiples of her on the board at the same time now the rest of the thing is just some more control package so we've got omen hawk to beef up our dudes to make them a little bit stronger and block better it's just a really solid one drop and shores up the early game against aggro Rhyme Fang Wolf turns into just an absolute house in this deck. Kill things right away uh, because you're mostly turning all of them into frostbite targets uh, with your flash freeze, your brittle steel, and harsh winds. It's going to kill off a lot of stuff. Not to, mes not to mention this Rhyme Tusk Shaman that's just going to lock down the biggest dude every turn, allowing Rhyme Fang to either kill it or all of your stuff to swing through because of Ash. Now, you've got other stuff in here like Avalanche for some of those aggressive, like, go wide decks that you just need to, that this can have trouble with, I guess, if they're constantly, you know, building up giant boards. This allows you to clear those uh, and make way for big attacks. And then, of course, Ice Yeti to get late game swings in and, uh, commander ledros for the control matchups where it's kind of getting grindy and you just need that one threat that's going to allow you to consistently push that damage uh i put in grasp of the undying for some life gain also it's creature removal against some of those aggressive decks and then the rest of your stuff is seriously just going to uh frostbite your things so I think you're going to love these matches. I picked some that really showcase the deck and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, getting over being sick. So trying to fight off this cough as much as possible, but I think you're really going to enjoy it. And if you do, uh, please, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and we have been mostly rocking magic arena stuff, but, I am in love with this game and really want to see how far the content can go with it. So if you enjoy this, there's a lot more like it coming and hit that button down below or I'll have something at the end of the video for you to click as well. So let's jump into these games. Interesting choice. Jinx and Heimerdinger there. You got one really aggressive versus one really uh, controlling. So it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out dude i think i've gone second like a million games in a row now all right so this can't be a serious game because they're playing draven his biggest fan without draven in their deck unless this is a <laughs> unless this is a not true and that's just a bug, and that's actually supposed to be Draven instead of Heimerdinger. However, I don't think that that's what's going on here. Alright, uh, we'll just pass it over to them. I can still... Sure. I can still use Entreat on their turn, if need be. So we'll see what they go for here. Hmm. All right. So is this uh? What? 
This feels like a decent avalanche. <clears throat> and then I'll have one bank mana. So I'll only be at five mana next turn. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's fine because I have Grasp of the Undying. Uh huh. I wonder if they drew that off of the thing. Oh, sweet sauce. Alright, so we're going to play this out. Dang. I did not think the mana threw on that one. Sure. Sure. This is fine. This is okay. Um, pass. So, yeah, I was I was thinking I had five mana because I had the spell mana, so I wasn't. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's do that. Make them think that it's cool. If it's a fight they want. And, okay, do we want to flash freeze or do we want to grasp? The, I think we'll grasp the undying because it's a guaranteed kill anyway, assuming that they have literally anything to do with my guy, like a mystic shot or something. So I think having the... Oh, yeah, baby. Having the grasp is much better there. Much, much better. Okay, so this is probably a decent... No, because if I entreat and then ash, then I have absolutely no mana for... to do one of my frostbite things, so I have to. Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Wow. God, this lemon, this lemon tea is saving my butt right now. I have had a persistent, just unbearable cough for three, no, for like over two weeks now. And I've actually sat down to record videos and just had massive cough fits that were unbearably annoying. Oh, sweet. No, this is really good. This is very good. We have a very high life total right now and can handle all of this stuff. Okay, so... Do, oh, wait, are they gonna pull? No, they didn't. Okay, well that's good. So do we want to block the more damage here? I think we do. So there's no reason not to do this. If I were them, I would have just, like, sent my dude over. Eh. No reason not to frostbite more damage. Plus we need to get her up as much as possible. So she attacks next turn and then they're all frostbitten anyway. Yeah, baby. Uh, no, we'll just bank the mana. It's fine. I don't want them to know. Oh, well, I had one anyway, so boom, baby. Yeet. My aim is true. 
look at all this damage that's gonna come through. Mmm. Get real. Get real. Don't have a kill spell. This is fine. Boom. So he can't block anyway. They're forced to jump. Which is A O freaking K. Because now we have the dark uh, or the crystal arrow thing coming off the top. Yeah, baby. So good. God, Ash is low key one of the best. One of the best. Play something, I dare you. Okay, well. Here's the cool thing. We have double. Boom. The time is right. Strike now. Boom. Yeet. Okay, I've been having a lot of trouble with this. With this arrow. So, I know this is lame, but I honestly have to just target this and let the timer run out. It's really freaking annoying because it won't read it as me targeting it. So, that's something that I'll have to put in as like a bug. But you like have to target it and then just leave it until the timer runs out and then it will snap it off god that's so freaking frustrating this is the second time this has happened to me and i think it's only off of ashes uh wait it didn't even do it <clears throat> god that's so annoying well i still don't think we lose this game but I don't understand why that won't target the enemy. It's really annoying. Just kill that dude right now. And they only have the one decimate in their hand. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, we already know what it is. Yeet. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I've already... Have I had a single Ash die in this game? Boom. Take that. This is the best thing to have against control decks. Just one of those. As the game goes long. Hmm. Gotta... A chance for redemption against Ionia Shadow here. Throw back the Rekindler. Keep this other stuff here. Damn, that was unreal. Okay. So they play a two drop. I play my two drop. Oh, sweet. We have Ash too. Heck yeah, we do. Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm not going to play it out yet. I'm going to use it. Um. Yeah. I'm going to do this. Because I want to use my mana. I'll send it over to them. And... I'll have stuff banked. Oh yeah, look at all this frostbite stuff happening right here. Heck yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. I will unite the frail Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeet, yeet, let her eat. Uh 
Uh-huh. Sure. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm, sure. All right, so on ours, on our turn, we'll just go to an attack. Frostbite that puppy down. This game has a lot of play against the Wraith deck, by the way. It has a lot of play against it. And we're totally fine with Ash dying because we have a million ways to get her back. Not to mention we already have one in hand from Entreat. So this is going to be Dece. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sure. Really? Where are you? Uh huh. Sure. This is all good so far. Just make them play a bunch of stuff. Uh huh. Sure. Patience. Patience is a virtue with this deck. Ooh, Yeti. Yeti's gonna, like, single-handedly proc this. Single-handedly. Uh-huh. Just like that. I'm keeping this one in hand right now because I'd like a follow-up Ash in case they do anything. Like so. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Okay, so we'll just follow up with our own Ash. Another thing on their turn died, so... This follow-up thing is like meh. Um, <clears throat> and just because I want to start getting in more damage. Hallelujah. Okay, so four out of five. Bada boom. And then we will, I mean, all we have to do is go to attacks, but oh, do I go to attacks right now? Yes. <clears throat> Fine. I've convinced myself. I have convinced myself to get more damage in. Because all of these will be procced. Because if they had removal anyway, they have the removal. So this way, if they just play a creature, we will uh, frostbite it with her attack anyway. And swing through. So we'll have a lot more damage than just the nine so exactly like that so you attack boom they can't block and now they're already down at six it's like a build your own elusive build your own freaking elusive now we just need to see the rekindler and life will be really good. Sure. That is a okay. How do we do this? <clears throat> I honestly don't want Ledras to die. I just, I want it to stay on the board because it's going to get hit by Ash anyway. I want them to come at me with all their other stuff and kill it off. And I've got, I've got the means to do so. Sure. 
I mean, you're welcome to attack. I have literally no reason to block that. Legitimately no reason. Here's the only thing that I have to do. But not even that. I can like double burst. I think I can just win the game, right? So, yeah, so they're not even enlightened yet. So here's what I'm thinking, right? We go to attacks. Boom, boom. And boom, boom. <clears throat> and then attack like so uh-huh and then it just goes through Mmm. All right. Let's see how this deck fares against the aggressive deck. This is a really good hand for it, if we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. Got even better. Make all of our dudes swole. No reason to give them a spooter yet. Mm-hmm. Sure. <clears throat> mm. So I can't block here. I can save the damage. I think that's fine. The rest of it, yeah, that's all good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Freaking rekindler. Uh, let's see here. If I entreat right now, I get ash. <clears throat> And then I can have money banked for a brittle steel this turn. Yo. Skip block. All the world on one arrow. Yeet, yeet, let her eat. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. <laughs> you activated my trap card. Uh, pass. All right, so now this thing can meet a grasp of the undying. We'll see if they play anything else first, like Elise or whatever. Yeah. So then we'll drain her. And then next turn, we'll have Rekindler and Banked Mana for a Brittle Steel. So here's where they do the kill their own dude. Yeah. Uh, sure. All right. So now we can get Ash back and have Brittle Steel open 
to block. Oh, buddy. <clears throat> I hate to do this to you, but I love to do this to you. If they play something else this turn, we literally can just ice yeti their whole board next turn. And then Ash will frostbite the other biggest thing. <clears throat> sure. Alrighty. What is this at? One out of five. Well, I mean, I get, I just, I have to do it. So, like, they could have the black arrow, but at that point, whatever. Like, we need to save the damage. That's more important right now. Sure. So, yeah, they'll probably... Oh, no, they don't have it. That's good. <clears throat> All right. So... Here, we Yeti. They play something. You punk. Holy crap. They're playing Ruination in a aggro list? That's stupid. That's like legitimately stupid. I don't like that at all. Skip block. That's so dumb. For real. Yeah, I'm going to unload these dudes. Now what are you going to do? Okay. Pass. So, I can frostbite this. Oh. Well, that's why we play this deck. <laughs> <clears throat> That's fine. Okay. This is okay. Because... We're gonna do that. And kill Elise. Freak yeah! Okay. And then this is going to get frost. Sure. That's okay. That's going to get a frostbite from... We need to kill Elise. This will get frostbitten from Ash. And then... It can't block. These other things can. Is there an argument to not go in with Ash here? Dang, dude. They're going for it. See, Ash is so frail. That's why you always have to have these like backup things going on. That one can die. <clears throat> Play something, I dare you. Oh, 
punk? You thought? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Honestly, I'm going to drain that one. I guess I can just take the damage from this dude. Alright, so. Now, here's the question. How do I... Well, that's one way to do it. Frostbite the strongest one. Doesn't matter. I need to do more. I need like harsh winds or something, huh? Ledros is pretty decent. So if they go to attacks, I can kind of do it the way that I want. But this is good too. Oh my lord. This is a game. We got ourselves a real game here. Okay. So... Do I want to do it like that? If I do it like this, then Ledros can't be blocked because they don't have big enough dudes. That's fine. So I can just play Ledros again and then they can't block. It seems to work out in my favor more than theirs. Go for it. Freak, yeah. Mm. 